The world seems solid, real, and independent of us. We see a tree, and we believe it exists regardless of our gaze. But what if this is an illusion? What if our very act of observation shapes the reality we experience? This isn't science fiction, it's a question at the heart of quantum physics. For centuries, science viewed the universe as a giant machine, predictable and objective. Quantum physics, however, reveals a different story. At the subatomic level, particles exist in a state of uncertainty, a blurry haze of possibilities. It's only when we observe them that they choose a definite state. This is the observer effect. But what constitutes an observer? Is it a complex instrument, a conscious mind? Some physicists believe consciousness plays a key role in collapsing these quantum wave functions. This raises profound questions about the nature of reality and the role we play in shaping it. Could our minds be active participants in creating the world around us? Consider the famous double slit experiment. Imagine shining a beam of light at a barrier with two slits. Behind the barrier is a screen. When we don't observe the light's path, it acts like a wave, passing through both slits simultaneously and creating an interference pattern on the screen. However, when we try to observe which slit the light goes through, the interference pattern disappears. The light starts acting like particles, choosing to go through one slit or the other. It's as if the light knows it's being watched. This experiment highlights the central mystery of quantum mechanics. The act of observation seems to influence the behavior of reality at its most fundamental level. It challenges our classical understanding of the world, suggesting a deep connection between the observer and the observed. The implications of the double-slit experiment are staggering. If observation affects reality at the quantum level, could it be influencing the macroscopic world as well? Theories like the von Neumann-Wigner interpretation suggest just that. This interpretation posits that consciousness is necessary for the collapse of the wave function, and therefore for the manifestation of reality as we know it. The participatory universe theory, proposed by physicist John Wheeler, takes this a step further. It suggests that reality is not a pre-existing entity, but rather something that is brought into being through the act of observation. We are not merely passive observers in this universe. We are active participants shaping reality with our consciousness. The idea that consciousness shapes reality might seem outlandish at first. However, consider phenomena like the placebo effect. A person's belief in a treatment, even a fake one, can trigger real physiological changes. Could this be an example of consciousness influencing the physical world? Then there's synchronicity, those meaningful coincidences that seem to defy chance. Could these be glimpses into a reality where our thoughts and intentions have tangible effects? Perhaps we are entangled with the world in ways we are only beginning to understand. Maybe just maybe we possess a latent ability to influence reality with our minds, a power waiting to be unlocked. The exploration of these ideas is not just a scientific endeavor. It's a journey into the very essence of who we are and the universe we inhabit.